it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make cloth envelopes for our junk journals. But first let's have a shout out to Hannah, Carrie, Christy B65, Heather, Judy and Jane. I appreciate each and every one of you. Alright you guys, you're going to need a piece of paper that you're going to use for the inside of your envelope. This will be the inside of the envelope and you're going to need some kind of fabric. I decided to pick poinsettias. Why not, right? So the next thing I want to do is turn my fabric wrong side up. So it's like this. And then I am going to get my white school glue and I'm going to get myself a nice brush and I am going to cover the wrong side of my paper that's going to be the inside of my envelope. I'm going to cover it with glue, just like this. Just like this. We'll get it all covered with glue. And then we're going to spread it around. We're going to make ourselves an adorable envelope. Now, you do not have to use music paper. You do not have to use Christmas material. You can use whatever you want to make your cloth envelopes. Whatever you desire. That's what you need to get. So I'm just going to spread this out completely. Move this over so I don't get glue on what I'm not going to get covered. Mm -hmm. All right, almost there. There we go. Okay, we're there. Now I'm going to take my paper and I am going to place it on the wrong side of my fabric. Just like that. And I'm going to get my little tool so I can smooth it out. Just like that. I did iron my cloth before I started, even though it looks like it's still a little wrinkly. I did iron it. It was hours ago, but I did iron it. Okay, now you're going to need to let this dry for quite a while, maybe four hours. And I am going to move this right over here. Okay, you guys, now I have one that's completely dry. It's this material. So now what we need to do is we need to make our paper. We need to measure it and make a square. So I'm going to just get a little marker right here. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, we're going to make this into a square, but first I'm going to just trim the extra off. So I'm just going to cut around this. Move that over there. There we go. All done. Now, what I would like to do is measure this. That's kind of messed up right there. Okay, measure this, and it's a, get this way, it's a tiny bit past seven. I'm just going to mark it. Be the easiest way for me to do because my 
my marks are coming off of this um, ruler. <laughs> they are coming off. Okay, so that's easy. I'll just cut it right there, right here. Okay, so this is my square. All right, we've got our square. I've got an extra piece right here. I can show you what we can do with that as well. So now what I want to do is I want to figure out what do I want for my flap. I want this to be my flap that flap folds down on the envelope. And I'm going to measure corner to corner and just approximately where I think the center is. I'll make a very light mark and then the X marks the spot where we are going to fold in the sides. Just like that. Actually, first, what I want to do is I want to sew around the edge. You don't have to because it's glued down. But I like to because, one, I like to sew. And two, I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, I've sewed around the edge. And now I'm going to fold in the sides. This was, where did I do? This was the top. That's what I decided. Okay, I'm going to fold the sides in meeting at the intersection of where we made our marks and I'm going to fold the bottom up quite a ways just like this because I need to lay the glue down to be able to close this so we've got it like this now what I'd like to do is I would like to get my fabric tack and I would like to go ahead and lay some fabric tack. I'm not even going to cut the corners out because I don't want any fraying. And it puffs it up a little bit so that you can actually fit more things inside. Now, I'm going to fold this tip down. I put glue on it. I'm going to fold it down. I can get this done without getting my head in there. I'm going to fold it down. <laughs> About right here, I think. There we go. Yes, perfect. Now, I have some big, oh, it's called them blue, big paper clips and I'm going to just close this so that it holds it firmly close while the glue sets up. So isn't that cute with the music paper inside? I think that is absolutely adorable. I absolutely love how this feels too. It really has a wonderful feeling and a wonderful sound. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Now we're gonna fold this down. I'm gonna fold it down about right there, just like that. Now let's do a little decorating. I have some eyelash yarn. I have some ribbon here. I have uh, I have some ephemera. Let me see where my ephemera is. I have some ephemera here. Let's see. Got this one. That's pretty cute. What else do we have here? We have some more. We have a Christmas tree. I think that's a little busy. I like that because it's, it's not busy. It's just pretty plain. Oh, here's a bow. That's pretty cute. What else do we have? We have a poinsettia. That's pretty too. 
Yule Log. Let's see here. No, I don't think I want them both. Which one do I like best? Well, I like the bow a lot, but the bow needs something else in my personal opinion. I'm not sure what, but it needs something else. Oh, how about that? Let's see if that fits right up in there like that. That's pretty cute, right? Okay, so do we want some other stuff going on on there? I think we do. I am going to get my ink and I'm going to ink around the edge of all this and then we'll start gluing it down. Okay you guys, so I'm going to use just a little bit of fabric tech. Um, I want that to fit up in there so I think I will not glue, whoa I put a lot there, Ooh, that came out too much. What is going on? <laughs> Too much. Okay, I want it right like that, but I don't want to glue it down yet because I want this. Try not to put so much glue on there, Kathy. I want this to go up underneath here. Like that. I move this. That's what I want. Oh, yes. I think. That's very cute. Now I also think I want a little bit of ribbon. Now I don't know if I want red or if I want green. Maybe green. Maybe some green. This is just some scrap ribbon that I had used for another project. It's kind of it's got some creases in it. This side isn't as creased. There's a little piece of lace. I don't think I want the lace on there, but I do think I want this, and I don't know why. I think I want a little bit. I was looking for my little tiny scissors. I've lost them. Maybe this will work. I wanted to cut it like that. I want to cut this in just the same way. And then I thought maybe I could just put it right down here. To kind of, I don't know, take this off. I think it's glued fine. And then maybe another little tiny piece. Let's see if I like it right there. Okay. Maybe just like this. I don't know why, but I don't even think I need that. Nope, now I don't like it. Okay, but I'm over here now, and I do want something over here. So maybe I can put this on here like this, maybe? Just kind of, kind of silly though, isn't it? I don't know. How about some eyelash yarn? I like that a little better. Okay, first though, I want to get my Velcro. I need to take this off. I'm pretty sure it will stay closed now. I just think that is so adorable inside. I haven't inked the inside yet. I can't even tell you how wonderful this feels. It feels so good and because we did not cut those pieces out of the corners it's kind of gusseted a little bit so that's really nice too but I'm going to take this and I want to take some older scissors because they get sticky and I'm going to cut one of these velcro circles in half I'm going to make sure they're placed on there correctly first. And then I'm going to cut it in half. There we go, on there. Cut it in half. 
Wait, they're sticky. Take it off. And I'm going to place it right on here first. Okay, both pieces are on there. Both pieces are right on there together. And then I'm just going to close it and push. And then you open it back up. It has a Velcro closure. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to open this back up and I'd like to put a little bit of fabric tech right here. Because I really think I would like to lay down a little bit of eyelash yarn. Right here. And I think I might lay it over a little further than I should, just so that I can trim it like that. And then over here and trim it once again. Oh my goodness. All right, we also have a piece that was left over. Remember, we had that one strip. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, isn't that adorable? That is absolutely precious. Absolutely precious. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we have that little strip. Here it is. Alrighty, so what we're going to do with this little strip is we're going to take the corners and fold them down just like this. We're going to make ourselves a bow envelope right here. I'm actually going to take it and sew it around first before I go any further. Okay, you guys, I just sewed around the edge. Now I'm going to take my glue because I already creased it and I'm just gonna put some of my glue didn't have to use fabric tech but I just did <laughs> and I'm going to put it down like that and then I'm going to fold it down just a little bit so there's just a little bit right here I didn't fold it right on the point I went down just a little bit then I'm going to take this bottom and I'm going to pull it up. You guys, if you're enjoying my video, please give it a thumbs up. And I invite you to subscribe if you haven't. We really do have great fun here. Okay, so now we have a little faux envelope. I'm going to trim it right like that. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. Little faux envelope. Now let's do a little bit of decorating on here. You can also put that other half of the Velcro circle onto this little closure here, that little flap. Press it down. Pull it up. There we go. So it closes itself. There must be a piece of glue right there. Yeah, I feel it now. It's coming off. It keeps getting stuck a little bit. Okay, I don't think it'll get stuck now. No, it's not stuck now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make it kind of match our bigger real envelope that will hold something. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right down here on this like this and right down here on here like that there's a glob of glue I don't want that there lots of glue okay now I'm going to put I'm actually going to do it this way Look at this 
Here we go. Oh my goodness, so cute, so cute, so cute. Now, I think we need a little bit of bling on there. Okay, you guys, I have some beautiful red gems. I'm actually going to close this just like this, it's still wet, but they will both stay closed on their own. And I'm going to get some fabric tack. Wipe this off, it's a terrible disaster here. And I'm going to put a little bit of fabric tack right there. And a little bit right here. Okay. And then I'm going to get, I think I'm going to use this size. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, so cute. So cute. And I'm going to use the bigger size. Oh, good heavens. Here we go. Oh my goodness, you guys! Glue everywhere. I absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.